Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I will talk about a very exciting mod upgrade for your Bamboo Lab Exxon Carmen. You already know that from the title, right? Yes, it's a smart LED upgrade for your Bamboo 3D printer. Even though the Bamboo Lab printers comes with a LED strip inside, which is good enough for the inside camera to take videos, but it's not good enough to see the prints going on inside your printer when the dark front door is closed, right? This LED mold will solve the problem. Before we jump into how we can make it, let me show you what we are going to build today. This is how my X1 Carbon looks from outside the closed glass door with only stock LED on. Now let me switch on the smart LED strip and let's see how it looks. Well, isn't this lights looks great? The lights can be turned on and off from the printer. And in case any error comes, the lights will turn into red. Let me show you that. Isn't this cool? Now, when we start a print and the lighter sensor kicks in for your X1 Carbon, the mod controller will turn off the lighting so that it doesn't interfere with the lighter. Once the lighter is done scanning, it will turn back on and you can see your print is getting done. Once the print is done, the light will turn into green. Now, before I show you how I have built it, I got this idea from a YouTube video of ModBot. I will share the link of that video in the description. Now, in his video, he was using a mod controller developed by the Dutch developers, which is this one. I will share this link in the description as well. But the problem at my end was, first, it was unavailable when I thought to make it for my printer. And also, it would cost me more than double of the price to get it shipped to India along with the custom duties. Secondly, it requires a 24 volt RGB CCD light strip, but in India, I found those were a bit costlier. And a 12 volt LED strip is much cheaper and will do the job very well. So I thought to make it myself. First, let me show you what all you will need. First is the LED strip. I have used a 12 volt RGB CCD LED strip. You can also use a 12 volt RGB W LED strip. I will tell you what changes you will need to do for that. But I will suggest you don't use only RGB strip because the white light in those RGB strip doesn't look very good. Second, you will need a 12 volt 2 ampere adapter. Third, a female DC power connector. Fourth, some connecting wires. And to make the PCB controller, first you will need a ESP8266 chip, a PCB board, two capacitors of 470 mu some terminal blocks, five MOSFET transistors, and one voltage regulator, which is L7805. I will give all those links in the description. Also, you have to print this top glass razor. This will sit on the top of your printer the top glass will sit on top of it so that we can mount our LED strips inside this glass razor so that you don't have to touch anything into the printer and void its warranty. Okay, now it's time to build the LED controller. The LED controller which we will build will be controlled by the printer through MQTT or message queuing telemetry transport. This is the messaging protocol used between IoT devices. And to make sure our LED controller can talk to the printer via MQTT, we have to get it connected to our home Wi-Fi. For that, we will be building the controller using ESP8266 chip, which will listen to the information the printer puts through the MQTT channel and can react to that to change the color of the LEDs. I won't go through much details about ESP8266 in this video, but it's a Wi-Fi microchip with built-in TCP IP networking software, which we will use to listen to the printer and send signals to the LED strip to light up the required color. To do that, we have to embed a code into the ESP8266 chip. Before I walk you through the code, let me tell you, I haven't written the code from scratch. It's been developed by the Dutch developers with Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial shared alike license. I have modified the code a bit to work with my design. So don't use this code for any commercial use, but you are free to modify and use it for non-commercial purposes. 
this is the code base from the Dutch developers and here is the modified version from my side. I will share these links in the description. Now to upload the code into your ESP8266 chip, here are the steps you need to follow. First, you will need to install the Arduino IDE to run this code into your ESP8266 chip. Once you have installed the IDE, download the code base from here and open it through your Arduino IDE. The ESP8266 chip you have bought is installed in a Node MCU board. So we have to install the board libraries into the Arduino IDE. To do that, go to your IDE, click on the file, preference and here enter this link. I will share this link in the description. Once you have entered it, close it. Now we can install the ESP8266 libraries into the ID. To do that, click here on the board manager and search for ESP8266 and install this library. You will also need to install few more libraries. To do that, click here on library manager. First, search for Wi-Fi manager and install it. Second, search for PubSub client and install this. Third, search for Arduino JSON and install this. Now you are ready to upload your code into your ESP8266 chip. Oh wait, there is one more step remaining. Before you upload it, go to Tools, Boards, ESP8266 and select this Node MCU 1.0 ESP12E module. Now connect your chip with a micro USB data cable to your computer. Now go to Tools, Port and select the port it is connected to. You can verify the port number in the device manager. In case you don't see the port, you might have to install the driver so that your computer detects the ESP8266 chip, which you can download from this link. Install it and then you can see your chip in your device manager. Note down the port number and select the same into your Arduino ID. Now you are set to upload your code into your ESP8266 chip. Before we upload the code, let me walk you through few basic things you need to know in this code. If you want a detailed walkthrough of the code, let me know in the comment section and I will create a separate video for that. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you are liking it. Okay, once you upload your code into your ESP8266 and turn it on for the first time, it will create a hotspot with the Wi-Fi name mentioned in the code. Using that hotspot, you can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Once it's connected to your Wi-Fi, it don't create the hotspot unless your Wi-Fi credential gets changed. Next, you will need to remember this master password to set the printer configuration into your ESP8266 chip. And you can do that via this domain name mentioned in the code, which I will tell you in details shortly. Also, these are the pin numbers which will be connected to the LED pins respectively. If you follow my design, you don't have to change anything here. Else, you might have to change these based on your implementation. Well, let's upload the code now. Once the code is loaded, go to your Wi-Fi and you will see your Wi-Fi hostname. Just click on it and connect. Once you have connected, it will automatically open the connecting website. Here, click on configure Wi-Fi. Select the Wi-Fi which you have. Enter the password for your Wi-Fi. and click save and your chip is connected to your Wi-Fi. Now connect back to your Wi-Fi. Now you will need this domain name which I told earlier. Just copy this domain name, go to your browser, paste it followed by dot local and enter. Once you enter, it will ask for username and password. 
user name is ibx1c and the master is the master password which you have set now click on sign in and it will come to this configuration page where you have to enter the ip address the access code and the serial id from your printer i will show you how you get that in your printer under the settings go to networks here you will find the access code here and the ip address here then under the general in device info you will file the serial id of your printer now it's time to build your led controller first thing you have to remember is that your led requires a 12 volt power supply but your esp8266 chip requires a 5 volt power supply so for that i have came up with this pcb design which i will walk you through in details where this is the power supply which is a 12 volt and this is your led and this is the esp8266 chip now the power supply i have put a switch in between so that i manually can switch it on and off so the power supply will go through the switch and it will go through the voltage regulator to convert it into 5 volt power supply for your chip so the power supply will go into the in of your voltage regulator and the ground of the voltage regulator will be connected to the ground in between you have to put one capacitor and the also this 12 volt input will go into the 12 volt pin of your led now the output of this voltage regulator will go to your 5 volt output of your usb 8266 chip and you have to put another capacitor between the output and the ground now to connect the other pins of your led with the esp8266 controller you will need to use this mosfet which will be controlling the current when to flow to which light pin so the connection will be like this that the first pin of your mosfet will be connected to the ground the second pin will be connected to the respective pin of the led and the third pin will be connected to the corresponding pins which you assign into the esp8266 controller now if you follow this pin pattern then you don't have to change anything into the code but if you change your pin accordingly you have to change into your code so that you can control the uh, current flow into those particular leds now if you see here i have one two three four five five pins apart from the voltage uh, in pin these are because i my led has rgb and white warm and cold warm light if you are using only rgbw then instead of five pins you will have four pins which you will be connected to four pins of this esp8266 and you will require only four mosfet in that case now this is the pcb design which i have followed and i am also very new to designing any pcb or doing any soldering to it i will show you the process uh, in shortly but you can follow this diagram to build your own i have also come up with a custom pcb design which is this one but i haven't printed it out myself so which i will do and try it out but in case any of you want to have this file and print it yourself so that the soldering will be very easy do let me know in the comment section and I will share this file with you for free. also printed a box to install the PCB inside 
and this is how the final look of the PCB inside the printed box. I know it's not the best possible way to shoulder this, but as it is my first attempt towards building a PCB, I think this looks great and serves the purpose. But with the custom PCB board, I am sure it will look better. Once I get the PCB delivered, I will do another try and will share that design with you all. Last thing you have to print is the top glass razor before you do the final assembly. Once your top glass razor is printed, attach the LED strip inside of the glass razor. LED strips normally comes with the adhesive at the back of it and that will be sufficient for this to stick it. Once done, place it on the top of your printer and plug it in and enjoy a awesome lighting. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know your views in the comment section. Happy printing.